Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another very important episode of CSK News. We have some very big stories for all of you guys today. All those stories will be time marked down below. But first off, I want to talk about a very important story and I hope you guys listen all the way through and give me your opinions down below in the comment section. That is involving McSkillet, a very well-known CSGO YouTuber who just released his third CSGO website out there. He is one of very few, if not the only CSGO YouTuber out there now with three CSGO websites out there, either gambling or trading related. So I want to actually cover this guys and also his recent video. So please follow Follow with me and leave a comment down below what you guys think on this situation and who you side with. So first of all, going over his websites, many of you guys know the popular trading website known as Skin.Trade. He's made this public for a long amount of time. I first thought it was a sponsor of his. He does own the trading website Skin.Trade as well as a few months after that and actually many months ago, he came out with a gambling website known as CSGO Arcade. Now ever since, that website probably does not make him near as much money as it used to or ever did because it was a gambling site that kind of fell through. It fell through as in the premise of the actual website website was based on the game Pong. So you go on, it's like an arcade based game, you face off against someone else, you hit a ball back and forth between two bars, and it was a gambling website. But if you guys do remember very particularly, back in that day when he actually launched CSGO Arcade, and the weeks coming up to that, he had a small beef with Anomaly. Many of you guys know Anomaly because he wanted to tell everyone, guys, I have a website coming out soon. He did kind of leak it to everyone else out there, all of his viewers. He said, I have a site coming out very soon, but it will not be gambling. Once the site was released, and it was CSGO Arcade, it was clearly gambling. It was player versus player betting money versus betting money. It was obviously a gambling scheme there, and Anomaly and him had a small beef because he did lie. He came out and said, don't worry guys, all these other gambling websites, they're kind of sketchy, they're, they're purely gambling. My website, it's an arcade game, it's definitely not gambling, although it was. Now the same tactic was used just yesterday with this video on screen, I will also link it down below, where McSkillet went after, mainly, other, mainly after actually other case opening websites, and said all these other case opening websites Websites that these other YouTubers actually sponsored by, they're sketchy. I don't believe in them. All these other case opening websites, Hellcase, Skin Hub, Drake Moon, CSGO Live, they're sketchy, so don't worry guys. I made my own case opening website and that drew up some big drama and very understandably. So first off, before we get into the bad stuff, I do want to say McSkillet's a very smart guy. The way he did this, you guys love the video. He had a lot of likes on that video and he had very good reasoning. YouTube ad revenue is an all time low. We get that. Other sponsorships and gambling scenes, they're very sketchy. We get that. But making your own website, that drew up some big drama with Mr. Tweet A and also Jeff known as Mr. Baguette. I'll show those tweets on screen, a variety of tweets coming back and forth between these YouTubers. With with very solid points. The fact is that McSkillet was putting down other YouTubers. Of course, a lot of hate coming his way, but here is the main overarching fact that I saw Mr. Baguette point out. What YouTube has really become and what McSkillet's tactic has become as well when releasing these websites is he targets other websites. I'll put the video on screen again for all of you. He clearly in this video actually made some very good points. He actually came out with information about Hellcase. A long time ago, McSkillet said a website had offered him $150,000 to make one video. We didn't know what website that was until yesterday when he told us it was Hellcase, a very sketchy website out there. Their edge must be higher than most websites. So he did come out and say that. He also came out and said CSGO Live, Skin Hub, Drake Moon, although maybe not scams, their withdrawal systems do suck. And after all of that, after wrapping up an entire 23 minute video about that, uh, there was a, a, a prior segment to that, but still a very long video about that, he hit us all with a speed bump, guys, and said, don't worry, their withdrawal system suck, Hellcase is very sketchy, but don't worry, I made my own case opening website for all of you to use. Use code McSkillet down below, free 50 cents. So, what do you all think, guys? McSkillet now, obviously, expand his empire into more depths than anyone else ever has in the CSGO scene. A trading website, a gambling website, a case opening website, what is next for McSkillet? Again, I do think the guy is very smart, he's very bright the way he did it, but I do understand the backlash that came his way for the tactic he used to attack other sites out there and then to just promote his own site in a, in a fairer light. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see if his website really is as good as it says. He actually says they have a backup uh, withdrawal system compared to their withdrawal system, so you should be able to withdraw skins every single second of the day. We'll see if his actual standards do hold up, and best of luck to him in the future. This is not a paid advertisement for any of those gambling websites, so I guess uh, don't use any of them if you, if you don't want to. Pretty simple. Now, on top of that as well, we do have Cloud9's contract ending for Brax, otherwise known as Swag in game, and you guys probably heard about that with this clip being played on screen. He's still signed with Cloud9. Notice that your stream looks way different now. Um. Save my next. We got some crazy shit like James Drops and I'm still talking with him. My contract ended, but um. 
I might resign, I'm not sure yet. Try to plant. Right now I'm just streaming yeah, streaming on my own. Where yes, he did tell us all on live stream his current Cloud9 contract has ended and he's probably waiting to resign because ESL, many of you guys know about after Cologne, they were supposed to release a statement on the iBad Power players and other match fixtures out there. So most likely Brax is waiting it out to see what ESL actually says. If he can say if they actually say that during ESL events these players can come back, he probably will not re-sign with Cloud9 and actually choose a different team instead to play for because Cloud9 starting roster is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So that's what Brax is probably waiting for. Now on top of that, you dummies, or I guess I'm the dummy, uh, someone's dumb, okay? Because ever since two videos ago where I told you guys not to buy gold autograph stickers, most of you listened, but a couple of you stragglers out there actually bought two Kenny S stickers, gold autograph stickers, for over $300 each. One of them selling for nearly $350, the second one selling yesterday for $300, and those are the only stickers by far and away that are selling for over $250 each right now, two of which sold for over $300. I'll show you guys on screen though. No other stickers are anywhere close to this. So two of you Frenchmen or anyone else who bought them, please tell me if it's you guys. Show me the stickers you have. But two people out there have bought Kenny S stickers for ridiculous prices. Please stop, guys. I'm begging you. Don't be dumb. I, I swear they will go back down. Now, talking about that, bouncing to our next story, PGL did announce this. And Steam, of course, on our dev post, we actually had this on screen. We will have souvenirs returning. Many of you guys already knew about that. No new format for PGL souvenirs. So luckily, they did come back. But although, we're going to see how this actually affects the souvenirs your market because we do have gold autograph stickers already being out. Going to be curious to see if these PGL souvenirs are just as expensive and how often cobblestone is played and how expensive that cobblestone package does get with gold autograph stickers already being out. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think gold stickers will affect souvenir prices? I really think it's going to be less of an impact than we hope for, but we'll see what happens. And for all of you guys who are experiencing FPS issues after our last CSGO updates a couple days ago as well as the one about, I think it's about going to be about 32 hours ago, the point of you guys watching this, many people experiencing FPS drops and issues in their game. This happens quite a bit with bigger updates out there. So CSGO uh, NIP actually came out with this tweet, uh, several tweets actually, I'll link them down below. For all of you guys who are experiencing FPS drops or issues, NIP did post a couple solutions on their Twitter. So I'll link those down below as well as put them on screen a couple times for all of you guys who are experiencing issues and hopefully it does fix the problem. If it doesn't, well, might as well quit. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSGO News. I hope you guys all enjoyed the McSkillet story. If you want me to touch on that later on, I would love to. That kind of story gets me so riled up and so heated. And I really can't tell you guys all the small details all in one single take when it takes four and a half minutes to actually talk about that clip. If I miss anything, please leave a marker or a comment down below, guys, and I will touch on it in the, in the future when updates do come out about his new website, how it's going for him. But that was really a, kind of a cool story. But also, tomorrow's my birthday. Or I guess today when you guys watch this, it's my birthday. So please go easy on me. If you want to do me a favor, guys, you want to do, if you want to give me a gift, if you want to be generous, please use my OP Skins affiliate code. Maybe use my gambling website that's not down there. But most likely, leave a comment, leave a like if you guys want to. And I seriously appreciate you guys so much. The comments on yesterday's video were so nice to read. So uh, I guess happy, happy birthday to me. I hope it's a good one. And uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I will see you guys all tomorrow with more great CSGO news. We have some great stories popping up out of nowhere. Please also leave a comment down below on what stories I should cover in the future. If you guys like this kind of drama, I definitely like covering it. I want to try and cover it in a more of, of a way where I don't side with one side particularly. So let me know if I'm doing that correctly or not. As always, live a laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Remember, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.